Hello, my name is Jitu Abraham and in this video I'd like to show you the mixed signal or logic analysis capabilities of the RTO oscilloscopes. So for this example I've configured the scope to actually probe onto a, a DAC, so a digital to analog converter, and we can see the output of that analog uh, waveform in, in the main trace here. And what you might immediately notice it's it's not very clean, it's got a few spikes here and there, and it's kind of got a break there as well uh, as it ascends up to, to, the, to the high point uh, in the middle. Um, what we can then do is use our mixed signal um, probe. Um, so this is the, the logic probe that you have um, on the RTO and you can actually use this um, in, in one pod where you have eight channels if you may uh, um, and you can go from D0 to D7 or another pod uh, simultaneously for D8 to D15 as well. Now with this pod we can actually probe onto our board for the eight channels and how this is enabled is if you go into the logic you can then um, present yourself with the dialog box for the mix signal and here you can individually enable each of the digital channels or uh, I'm going to quickly hit D0 to D7 and they get automatically enabled. Then you can set up thresholds uh, for the whole stream or in groups of four. Um, so you can have a threshold levels in groups of four. I'm going to leave it as, as one coupled burst if you like. And then when I close that, you see all the digital channels that I've now enabled on the trace. I'm going to go ahead and uh, minimize my analog channel so we can actually just see that those digital channels that are being built up there. Uh, and as you can see, um, we can either pick one of these up, move them around or so on, or uh, pick them up as a group, change the, uh, the actual scaling of each of these and so forth as well. Now to analyze what might be wrong with maybe our device and so on, we can either display each of these data as a bus table, if you may. So in here, you can go back into the dialog box for the, the mixed signal capability. And down here, you can say um, show bus. And in here, uh, I'll go for uh, the combination bus, if you may. And here you can actually see Go ahead, do a single shot, and you can actually see the hex values for each of the data that's coming through. So they're all very correlated, and you can walk yourself through the whole uh, the whole trace and find out all the hex values and see what might be wrong with your configuration. But another nice, neater way would be another feature that's available on the mix signal is the analog trace. So just like you saw, like a bus view, you can have an analog view of the whole trace, and then now this displays. Uh, the whole trace that you would see as an analog waveform. So you can see there, we see the same sign signal as the analog, and we see an analog representation of the same digital signals that we're now seeing in. And we can actually zoom into one of these, and we see, uh, yeah, there are a few spikes, as we would imagine and saw, just like in our analog trace. And now we can go ahead, zoom into one of those, and see exactly what might be wrong with with that signal there so there's a an error there that we can actually see and then we can zoom in further and further into those details and try and find okay what exactly is causing this error if you may and you can, you can clearly see there there is a, a glitch there or a, a timing misalignment there if you like and this is what's causing that spike to happen and and uh, and that to occur in our analog trace and also in our digital representation if you may so here you can see how easy it is um, to actually debug uh, an A to D converter and use the many powerful tools that's available with the RTO oscilloscope. 